Hi, this is Mr. Knowles, and this instructional video focuses on using number bonds for adding and subtracting fractions. I'll be incorporating some visual models too, or sketches. Uh, we learn how to use sketches in fourth grade to visualize our thinking for mathematical skills and ideas and thoughts. Uh, this uh, concept of number bonds came from Engage New York, and basically, you're looking at an improper fraction like six fifths and looking at it in parts five fifths and one fifths and that helps students visualize how to uh, make that into a mixed number one and one fifth because the five fifths is really one whole so you can look at it this way. Let's get started. One eighth plus three eighths plus four eighths. Well, visually, what we've learned is if I draw something in eighths, try to do this as quickly as possible. I draw a thing. They're all the same size that represents each one. And do one eighth, three eighths, and four eighths. And then I would add them or fill up our thing. So one eighth plus three eighths plus four eighths, I would have eight eighths or one whole thing. Well, instead of drawing models, a quicker way is to think of this think of this a little more mathematically, and you could just add the top numbers or the numerators. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 8. And with fractions, you just leave the denominators alone. So you have 8 eighths, which is the same as one whole num one whole thing. So this is the same as 1. Next problem. 1 6 plus 4 6 plus 2 6. Well, I'm going to try this without drawing a sketch. I'm going to do this, and I know that the 6 is going to stay the same. The denominator stays the same, and all you really need to do is add the numerators. So if I add 1 plus 4, 4 plus 2, I get 7. Now, 7 is greater than 6, so I could think about this in, a, in some parts. This is the number bond I talked about earlier. So I could think of this as 6, 6, and 1, 6. Together, 6, 6 plus 1, 6 is 7, 6. And this 6, 6 is one whole. That's 1. And the 1, 6, I can just kind of slide it next to here. And I magically have my mixed number, 1 and 1, 6. How, how cool is that? That's a pretty nice little method. There's my answer, 1 and 1, 6. 5 eighths plus 4 eighths plus 1 eighth. All right. So the denominator stays the same. And all I'm going to do is add those numerators. 5 plus 4 plus 1 is 10. Now I'm going to make a quick number bond. I believe that's what they're called. So I have 8 eighths. And then I have 2 eighths. So this 8 eighths, that's one whole. And the 2 eighths, I can just slide over there. And I'm done. One and two eighths. Now, if you want to reduce that to simplest form, some of you are able to do that. 
you could say it's also one and one fourth. <coughs> Excuse me. Subtraction. Okay, subtraction, we're taking things away. So my 11 tenths, I'm going to subtract that. And what we've learned in the past in class, I draw a quick sketch. And 11 tenths. That's 11 tenths. And you're going to take away 4 tenths. One, two, three, four, and then take away one tenth, one tenth, and then whatever's left over, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's your answer. Six tenths is left over. That's kind of the quick visual model for you. Uh, mathematically, process is similar to addition. The denominators stay the same. They don't change. And all you have to do is look at those numerators and subtract them. Now notice there's three numbers up here. So think about this 4 and this 1 together. They're really 5, so it's really 11 minus 5, which is 6. So your answer is 6 tenths. And then if you want to simplify that or reduce it to simplest form, you could. You'd have three-fifths. We haven't talked too much about that yet, but some of my students can do that. So your answer is six-tenths or three-fifths. All right, one minus three-twelfths minus five-twelfths. Okay. You have to think of this number one in fraction form. That's in twelfths. So how many twelfths is one whole? Well, one whole is twelve twelfths. All right. And then think of these together. What are those together? Because it's really twelve twelfths minus three twelfths and then minus five twelfths. Well, together, three and five are eight. So it's eight twelfths. So this really is a twelve twelfths minus 8 twelfths. Well, what's 12 minus 8? 4. And then the denominator stays the same. And if you want to simplify that or reduce it to simplest form, 4 twelfths is the same as 1 third. But I'll accept 4 twelfths. So your answer is 4 twelfths. Right there's your answer. Last one. 1 and 1 fifth minus 2 fifths minus 3 fifths. Now you have to think about this number 1. How many fifths is a whole number? Well, it's equal to 5 fifths. But there's a little bit more. There's this 1 fifth that's a part of it. So you have to put them together. So 5 fifths and the 1 fifth. Put these together, because they are together, you have six fifths. Minus what's two fifths and three fifths? Well, that's five fifths. So this is really six fifths minus five fifths. And then what's six minus five? That's one. And then the denominators stay the same. So your answer is one-fifth. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.